Oklahoma has only one historically black college and university. At Langston University, the history, culture, pride, and opportunities are bringing in students from all over the country. News 9's Angelicia Bruton visited the campus to show us why it's attracting students from coast to coast. Historically black colleges and universities have a rich history, and nothing says that louder than the band. It is good because of the culture. This allows us to go ahead and, and, and be ourselves. Their roots run deep, dating back to the 19th century, and their traditions are being recognized everywhere. Who needs an alarm clock when you have one of the best HBCU marching bands, Langston University, playing some juice for y'all? Hey. Give it up for them. Langston University band director Mark Gordon says HBCU band style is incomparable. On the HBCU school, they come to so they come to support the football team, but they come to see halftime. Our style is more uh, high energy, uh, high energy, high standard, uh, uh, very animated type of marching style is very memorable. There are more than 200 students in the marching band and it's steadily growing. We are like ambassadors. Some students will never see university, but they'll see the band. And from seeing the band program, they'll come to university. Langston University is the only HBCU in Oklahoma. Like many others, it started from humble beginnings. Freedmen in one of Oklahoma's 13 existing all-black towns were looking for a fresh start, along with black people migrating from the South. Almost the end of Reconstruction and the beginning of Jim Crow. So that would have been foremost on their minds. So they wanted a town, and then as part of that town, they wanted a higher ed institution. Langston University was founded in 1897. It was called the Colored Agricultural and Normal University. The first class had about 40 students and they met in a church with a goal to provide higher education for black people. I want to be clear, HBCUs for forever have welcomed everyone, but it was for sure a place where if you were African American, you know, you could attend. The home of the Langston Lions grew from a small church to a university with several campuses in Oklahoma, the first class paving the way. He was gifted, he was a musician. But it wasn't easy over the years. HBCUs have battled issues such as Jim Crow laws and fought for funding. Despite the storms, Langston continues to produce nurses, teachers, politicians, and thousands of graduates. We like to talk about the HBCU experience and I believe that experience is a nurturing one, but with expectations. So I want you to listen to these sound bites and then we're gonna talk about it, okay? Today, around 2,000 students attend the university. More than 80% are black. I did not choose Langston, Langston chose me. It was this HBCU experience that attracted Elijah Weaver from Kansas City to attend Langston. In high school, I never had a black teacher at all. Um, I went to a predominantly white high school. Um, I graduated, I, I was the first uh, African-American male to graduate with honors in my school history. Weaver says he was accepted to more than 20 universities, but felt like he could really make his mark at Langston. As soon as I stepped down here on this campus, I remember the day, it was July 27th, 2019. I came to this campus, wanted to be a working person. <laughs> He became a member of the Beta Kappa chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. We are a lifelong fraternity and the, our brotherhood is strong. A Thurgood Marshall College Fund recipient and SGA president who helped give out more than $50,000 in scholarships. I was able to get out of my comfort zone. I was a very shy, timid, didn't speak out a lot and going to HBCU, it brought that out of me. As Weaver prepares for graduation, he describes his time at Langston as not just an HBCU experience, but one that was life-changing. They saw something in me. They invested in me with my scholarship. Uh, being here at Langston University, they invested in me, and I'm getting the return of my investment. Many HBCU grads would say it teaches you to find the lion in yourself. Somewhat like an incubator experience, I think, because then once you go out into the world, you have more confidence. Our mission never ends, and we just keep moving forward. Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.